Hello, I'm Kurt, and this is Simple Shop Creations. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Libri Office Draw to make graph paper. If you want to skip this introduction, go ahead down to the description below. Look for the chapter heading called Start Tutorial and click. As you see here, I'm creating paper products and not doing my normal uh, woodworking projects. But I do like to journal or write stuff down. And so I like to create um, paper, paper products. So I also like to create notebooks. So I figure I would just go ahead and demonstrate how I make paper such as dot grid, line paper, and graph paper. And this one here is the graph paper I'm going to demonstrate. Let's go ahead into the tutorial. There will be a link for LibreOffice down in the description, plus affiliate links to products that I use. So don't forget to check down there. So once you have LibreOffice installed, go ahead and open up LibreOffice Draw. So let's go ahead and do that myself. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to select the down arrow and I'm going to select drawing document. Now we have it in behind here. So I'm just going to shrink this one down and move this. So now you're presented with a brand new document. The next step we have to do is remove these margins. Right mouse clicking in the middle of the document and hitting page properties. Now I'm going to leave it letter size. As you can see here, I'm set up for metric. So let's go ahead and change that back to inches. I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to go to tools, properties, and you see I already have um, LibreOffice Draw selected here. If it's not selected, just go ahead, find it, hit the plus sign, and then expand it and go to general settings. Go here to units of measurements, and we're going to go ahead and change it to inches, and it defaults to tab to 0.5 or half inch. Hit apply, hit OK, and now we're OK to hit right mouse click and hit page properties. And now we're see we're back to inches. So now we need to do is remove our margins. Here you see in the gray, the gray up here where the margins are. We're going to highlight the 0.39 and type in zero, hit the tab key zero, tab key zero, tab key zero. Click, and now we're going to hit OK, and a pop-up box pops up, and basically says the margin settings are out of the print range. Do you want to keep it and or apply it? Select yes. And why did that pop-up menu pop up? Is because pr some printers cannot print edge to edge. And how can I tell that? Uh, two ways. One way is to look at the specs of your printer for borderless printing, I believe. And the other way is to follow along. And then when we're completed with the tutorial, let's go ahead and print and see what happens. If you get a print error or print skewy, just bring your margins in. As I showed you before, just right mouse click and hit page properties and mess around with these values down here. But my printer can do borderless printing or marginless printing, so that's why I can go to zero for all my margins. Now next step is we want to create a graph, we want to create a grid, we want to create rows and columns of, of lines. So let's go over here to the line, and we see when you select the insert line, you get a plus with a little diagonal line. We're gonna go up to the top here, and we're going to re left mouse click and hold it. Now you can hit the shift key and it should bring it back up to the top where you started and release. And now you can see you have a dot here, a square here and a square here that signifies that your line is highlighted. So what happens if you click away and you lose it? Just sneak up and when you get the four arrows, click and now you're back to selecting that particular line. The next step is we want to create a bunch of rows going down this paper. So let's go up to the top menu here. We're going to hit the word shape and go down to duplicate and here we see we're in eight inches that'll be huge let's first start with this number here this tells me to give 35 copies of this particular line this way here is saying give me 35 columns going this way but i want to go rows so i want to change this to zero and hit the tab key and i'm going to do a quarter inch square so that's going to be 0.25 Hit the tab key and now let's go ahead and hit OK and it should copy 35 lines. Let's see what that brings us. And that brings us down here. So I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to go back up here and highlight my line and right mouse. Nope. I'm going to highlight my line 
I'm going to go to shape and hit duplicate. And I'm going to change this to, let's try, let's go 45 and see what happens. And it went off the document. So we're going to highlight this one document and hit delete. And there we now have, I guess, 39, 44 rows of uh, horizontal lines. Now the next step is we want to do columns or vertical lines. So we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to do it in a vertical fashion. We're going to go to insert line. We're going to click it. Make sure you have the plus and diagonal line. Click to the top. Let's try that again. Let's click to the top, but hold down the left mouse key, drag it. You can see what's happening here. You can hit your shift key and it should bring it back in by hitting the shift, hold down the shift key and release. And now you can see that we are highlighted here. Now what happens if you click away and it goes away? Well, you're going to have to be a little careful on how you click it. So there, and then there we're good. So we'll go up to our shape menu again, select it, select duplicate. And now we want to swap these numbers here, but I don't think we want 45. Let's do, let's go back to 35 and let's put this at 0 0.25. Hit the tab key and zero that out and hit OK, and it did go off the document again. Highlight that, so you get those orange, red, blue, green, whatever called dots or red dots, and hit delete. And there you now have at least one sheet of graph, graph paper created. Now before we continue, don't forget to look down in the description for affiliate links and a link to download LibreOffice, plus hit that uh, subscribe thingy and Select like the bell icon so you can get notified when I create other videos. So the next step here is to save this or create another one. So if you have a printer that only prints on one side, then go ahead and save it and then print it. And then once it's printed, remove it from the printer, put it back into the tray with the grid side up, facing up, and then print it again and that should print the blank side on the back and that's the way most printers should behave but if you have a printer that can print two sides similar to what I use you're just going to go ahead and highlight this and you're going to make a copy of it but before we go ahead and do that we want to if you want to change the color of the grid to make it a little lighter just hit uh, click somewhere in the printer or the document hit control A and you can see you have the dots going all the way around now, if you want to here, you can uh, reduce the, the the size of the the size of the lines. You can change them to whatever you want. Okay, you can see there they're changing. Uh, you keep them that, and then you can you know make these things really fat, which you know we don't want. So there's a couple things you can do here. You can change the color. I would think a go back to that light gray three would be good, and now we're good there. So let's go ahead and highlight this. Right mouse click, copy, click off it, right mouse click, and let's hit paste. And we should have a second one, first one, second one. Now you have two grid papers here documented in front of you. With the two-sided printer, go ahead and hit print. Make sure you select two-sided printing. And now it should print both on both sides automatically. So after you've done that, you want to go ahead and save this. We're going to go up to our top menu here and we're going to select save as and just leave it as a ODF drawing open format open document format most paid office products should be able to handle ODF without losing any type of formatting as you see here I already created a document called 25 by 25 grid 8 by 11 signifying letter size uh, paper so there I do have it. So go ahead, save it what you want, hit the save button, and then you are done with this video. So I hope everybody has a healthy and wonderful day. There will be more videos on notebook stuff. Next video coming out will be how to create various types of notebooks. Also, I will be maintaining my wood projects. So until the next video, good day.